and to the stage. Your hairstyle is my favorite part. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll take it on the other side, yeah. Uh, sure, I'll get to that in a second. Let me just get the presentation ready. Come on, there we go. There we go. All right, um, so before we start, I'm good, thank you. Um, how about everybody here just, is that? No, that is not what I wanted. There we go, okay. Um, how about everybody here just stand up and take a breather? Do some stretching before we start, because today I will be talking to you about sports, oh, athletics, know. and how to keep yourself healthy. <laughs> oh, like now, while you're stretching, let me talk to you about my pins. Uh, this is an airplane. Um, I usually wear this just because I, need, I want to remind myself of how far I can go and how far I can reach if I really go for it. Um, and right under it is the Be Authentic pin. It's some, something I hold dear to myself. Um, I've always had this belief that, you know, if I'm going to, you know, fake it till I make it, I'm never going to make it. Um, so I, I try to keep the, that mindset within me when I'm doing presentations or, you know, when I'm just in school. Um, and here are just some, you know, pins from my collection of, you know, academics and stuff, but that's not important. Today we're talking about IMP. Um, this company is uh, it's the metaphor for interconnected, motivated, and powerful. So what IMP is, IMP aims to um, sort of encourage people from all age groups and all financial sort of classes to be active, to exercise. And the importance of exercise, it actually exercise boosts your energy, it improves your mood, um, it combats health conditions and diseases, and exercise leads to a happier and healthier life. That's why I had you stretch before you listen to my presentation, so it would seem that my presentation's better, uh, which it certainly is not. It's the exact same presentation. Now, exercise and technology is what we're focusing on in this company. Technology allows athletes and you know aspiring athletes to share tips to improve or you know um, share other strategies in which to help each other or to help their community as a whole. Many people prefer to listen to music or even watch a movie while they're working out so it distracts them from you know, the otherwise very rigorous and boring process of continuously repeating a movement for several hours. And ex exercise equipment has become more ergonomic and also more, technology, more technologically efficient with advances in technology. Despite these advances in technology, we still have a lot of problems. Exercise is mostly self-motivated. When I'm in the gym or when I'm, you know, training for my badminton team, I'm there. I, I'm there as myself. Um, I may be playing with other people. I may have my friends who's working out beside me. But in the end, I need to motivate myself to keep going. I need to um, perhaps help my friends and motivate them. But in the end, they also have to motivate themselves. And exercise is also a tiring process. After a day at the gym, you may feel energetic but your body is telling you that you, know, you need sleep, you need energy, you need some protein to rebuild those muscles. And exercise also takes time. For people like us, um, you guys all have jobs. Um, some of us are still students, and some of us, like me, um, you know, we're here, we're building our dreams. So we don't have a lot of time on our hands, and that's why we need to make exercise so much more efficient. Now comes the problem, losing motivation. Athletes, there are a few reasons for athletes to lose motivation. Stalled process, progress, slow, slow recovery, uh, repetitive exercise, or um, stale environment. And any of these can ruin a person's exercise routine or potentially ruin their entire life because they, they don't have the desire to you know, improve themselves. They lose the motivation to help their communities too. That's where income's in. The market, the market opportunity is the global fitness and health club industry which is evaluated at around 80 billion US dollars in revenue per year. And also, um, more specifically, the global M health and fitness app industry is valued at approximately 13 billion, $30 billion. Here is where IMP comes in. IMP, we, we, we're, we try to be a platform to encourage people to work together, to motivate each other to um, you know, pursue their own individual dreams. 
interconnected. IMP allows athletes and people from all over the world to connect on a common platform and share experiences, compare tips, and build communities based on love for exercise. And we do this through a universal language. I am an avid cyclist. I like to bike in the winter, in the summer. Um, you know, if there's snow, I bike anyways. But my friends who are runners, we don't have a common language. I can say, oh, I bike, you know, 10 kilometers. And my friend's like, oh, yeah, I, I ran like 50 kilometers today. I'm like, oh, okay, great. But we, we can't compare our athleticness, if I could put it that way. We, don't, we can't connect deeply with each other because we're trapped in our own individual athletic activities. And the same with others, such as um, people who like to lift, who like to, um, you know, bodybuilders. I can't, I don't have a common language with them. I can't communicate with them um, for, for athletic reasons. Now, motivated. It provides motivation and direction to athletes and gym goers through their use of friendly competition, prizes, and personal bests. Lastly, powerful. Imp equipment recycles the energy produced by the human body during exercise to charge your devices, such as your phones. I don't have my phone with me, but you get the idea. Yeah. Um, now, Imp. What Imp is, is we are a multi-platform social exercise program or application. You can install this on your computer. You can install this on your phone. And what it allows you to do, it allows you to track the energy generated by our dynamo generators, which will be um, compatible with most exercise equipment and bikes um, that are existing today. And we also provide a community forum and coaching service subscriptions to our users um, so they can exercise the right way without hurting themselves and also communicate with their friends and strangers from across the internet on how to exercise. Lastly, hardware, as I've mentioned, for bikes. And also, this is what it looks like. Um, it'll be easy to use, and it re includes a removable power bank for use when you're not exercising and you still want to charge your phone. Now, let's, let's, I'll give you two examples. One is the dedicated gym equipment for running, specifically. Now, attachment generators for existing gym equipment, such as treadmills and elliptical machines, generate power and charges devices through, throughout your workout, and you'll never have to struggle to find a charging port at your gym again. And you can keep your devices close to you so you can listen to music or you can watch something while you're working out. Now, a technological breakdown, um, this is a little diagram that I made. Um, basically, this isn't totally important, but what you need to know about this is it maintains a pretty good uh, efficiency of 70%. And it also comes prepackaged as an attachment, so it won't have this mess of wires, and it'll be um, out of the box, easy to use for any consumer. Now, the social exercise platform. This is where IMP really shines. It allows communities to come together in their exercise sessions with one universal unit, which is energy. You can share experiences, tips, and personal best, compete with others to increase your motivation or to motivate others. Um, you can competitions to win prizes. For example, I. Um, as an imp user, I can set up a competition for the runners in my area, and whoever um, beats my personal best will, you know, get get a prize from the imp platform, <coughs> such as um, free uh, professional subscription. Which, by that, I mean like a professional trainer, specifically for you, who you can ask questions and they'll respond almost instantly for a month. Now, online courses on diet methods and various kinds of support, such as recovery and injury support, um, are also available for a price. Um, which is our subscription, um, which is one of the primary ways we will steal money out of people's wallets. Business model. Um, so imp at the start, we will work with existing fitness and athletic institutions to enlarge our user base and build value. I will connect with different gyms in my area to offer them this service for free and attach our generators to their machines. And in, in this, um, people who go to that gym will be encouraged to download our app and possibly subscribe to us because it, it is more convenient. We've delivered our product to them before they even ask for it. And through this type of marketing, we are able to gather um, potentially a great number of athletes because we are targeting their homes, their communities, before they even ask us for help. Now, Imp will also have three sources of revenue, subscriptions, advertisements, and sales. Um, for subscriptions, we have premium subscriptions and standard subscriptions, but what they do is, is they provide a um, higher standard of service and personal training um, to our users, 
And through advertisements, um, IMP, the program, it's an app, so we can obviously integrate many advertisements for, uh, for example, a new model of a running machine. And sales, which is our basic charging unit, which can be attached to bikes or other existing equipment. Now, IMP will distribute equipment to gyms such as Planet Fitness and Good Life Fitness for free to attract users in its first year. Subscriptions, we've already went over this, but to give you a bit more detail, uh, we aim to make these affordable to everybody, but still make enough revenue and profit um, through our very large user base. Sales and marketing plan. Um, individuals say 16 to 50 um, is our target. Income per year may vary from none to an adult. Um, because our base, pro base application is free, you're free to interact with your community. You're free to motivate others. You're free to be motivated. But if you want our professional training, you will have to pay for a subscri uh, subscription. Now, market two is existing gyms and fitness organizations. We can partner with existing gyms. We can also partner with other organizations just, such as Nike to offer our service to their application and integrate their application into our platform so their current users can store their data on our platform and still be motivated. So ultimately, our, our goal is to serve the community and to help people, but making money is also an important part of our business plan. SWOT analysis. Strength, we're very unique. I've searched all over the internet, and we are the only platform that who, who, who can currently offer this type of interconnectedness and motivation. Uh, weaknesses, we're relatively new, and against big companies like Nike, we may have um, you know, a, a competitive sort of environment, but by working with them instead of against them, we can successfully steal their revenue. Um, it's, a, it's a good way of, to put it. Opportunities, we have numerous partnership opportunities and media coverages from partners. Um, Planet Fitness and you know, Good Life Fitness, they, own, they also have their own social media accounts and their own circle of influence. By integrating ourselves into that, we're getting free followers. And threats, um, this app is very dependent on the trends in bodybuilding, the trends in exercise. Um, for example, last month, badminton was popular. Now this month, when I go to my club, no one's there. I'm, the, I'm like the only one out of two or three people who's at the club. And as a company who builds relationships with athletes, we have to be sure um, of the trends and adapt to that. Now, platform and competitive landscape, this is just a basic overview. Um, imp is right here in the middle. We cover all four sectors. Well, you can see many of our other competitors are very extreme in their sort of business model and what they provide to the customers, and I think this will give us a good advantage over their um, business strategies. Um, basic organization, these are very trusted, very experienced. Um, some of them are friends, others I have, I've, I've met and I've worked with in the past, and I believe they will form a good team um, for this company. Financial projections, I'm not going to bore you with the numbers, but what you need to know is our R&D costs will be high. But that R&D costs come with a great benefit because on the third year, our profit or our market value jumps straight to 8.45 million, and then we only grow exponentially from there. We will start off with a low number of employees, but a high number of employees in our research and development team, and then we will slowly even out as our products mature and our user base matures. Business growth forecast. Startup investments, we will be asking for $4 million at 30% equity and to, to cover, to cover R&D costs and initial operating costs. And here's our timeline. And our exit strategies is IPO year 10 in 2028 or 2029, um, at 10 million shares at $30 a share each, and buyout at year seven in 2025 um, for 30 million at 20 times multiplier. Finally, IMP, uh, we're a company that tries to target our communities and improve their lives. Uh, we're, we're not just here to take money, we're here to give back to the community through service, through our um, really untired spirit, and we also um, are really adaptable, and finally, we will be working um, towards one central goal, which I feel is the goal for all people, is to make the community healthier and make the people around us more motivated. Thank you. I'm proud to present that we do have a working application 
that can be installed uh, manually. <laughs> um, the App Store is reviewing our app right now. But what this allows you to do is to track your exercise. For example, I'm in the cycling mode right now. And if I plug this to our um, partnership with a dynamo, project, a dynamo company in China, you'll be able to charge your phones right now in this moment if you have our product. And also, here are the awards, and here's your profile, and here we can share your experiences and your workouts with your friends um, through this app. We are still working on some other experimental features, but we will get to those in the near future. Yeah, um, thank you for that. Number one, a uh, very polished presentation. Um, you know, when you were speaking, it felt like I was in the therapy or something. It's very, very calm, uh, very good voice, uh, very good, you know, you're, overall your speaking um, is a very great presentation. I think the, um, the product is very interesting, right, because I think um, you look around, uh, a lot of these new products are coming out, like Pel Peloton, I don't know if you know aware of that. Mm -hmm. uh, Peloton is like a bike, but they do add a, a community aspect to it, so mm -hmm. where you can compete against friends, um, is to, you know, to motivate yourself more, right? So I think it's similar in that regard, but I think um, they don't definitely don't do cross, uh, you know, exercises, right? So mm -hmm. I think it's definitely a very interesting, uh, very interesting concept. Um, so I'm guessing, you know, because you mentioned that you're saying you're going to install the technology, let's say on stationary bikes, yep. and also maybe on treadmills, mm -hmm. how is that going to look like? How are you going to make sure that it connects to the interface, or is it going to be connected via like your app or something? Yeah. So that detail? Um, as there was a little picture of our little device, which was designed for bikes, but in order to integrate that into standing equipment like treadmills. Um, we will, there's an axle, um, this is kind of technical, but we'll just attach it to the axle and through that we can run the app on our phones and plug that in to, um, you know, the, the device and with that we can charge. We don't actually have to integrate with the platform built into the treadmills, we just have to integrate it with um, different devices that run on Android or, you know, iOS and that's what we'll be doing. And it seems like that uh, that device that you're going to be installing is kind of what's going to enable uh, all of this tracking information, right? So yes. what are some of the costs associated with that? Sounds like you need to get it into a lot of equipment, mm -hmm. a lot of gyms, for, for people to even be attracted to your platform, right? So what are some uh, hardware or initial investment costs you think, you know, that's going to be involved with rolling that device out to all the mm -hmm. different markets or different gyms? Yeah. Um, one challenge I will admit we definitely have is integrating that into the so many different models that of like treadmills um, that we have on the market today. But we also we we sort of combat that cost by having a complete lack of costs for the initial integration because um, fitness uh, organizations as Planet Fitness, um, they'll be happy to accept our product into their lineup of um, exercise machines because we're providing them a service for free in the beginning. You know, your customers get to charge your phones at no extra cost to you. Um, so I'm providing your customers or their customers a convenience, and through that we gain our user base. And after, um, as I mentioned, on the third year, we'll start making a profit, and then after that we'll experience an exponential growth. So our costs are, are relatively low, um, especially in the integration and sort of the distribution sector um, in the first year. But then as soon as we sh uh, start shipping our, uh, sh shipping our product, to different customers, that, that cost would decrease, but also the cost of R&D will, de will, I mean, increase, but the cost of R&D will decrease to balance that out. Yeah, so how much one of those models cost for me to charge my phone, let's say oh. the stationary bikes? Yeah, um, so if I remember correctly, the um, premium subscription is $45 and the standard subscription is $10, that is per year, um, and then one of those products, depending on the complications, for example, um, the standard bike model that's already developed um, we can probably offer that at around a few dozen dollars, maybe fifty dollars. Um, but for the treadmills, um, uh, apart from the initial free products that we'll be offering to organizations, they will be costing around one hundred and fifty dollars. Cool. Thank you. I like your presentation and your idea. It's very good. But I'm um, think about uh, you target is until twenty twenty eight, right? Yes. Think about the Uber, uh, think about the Tesla. I would say now the time it grow fast. Every idea compacted very fast. So maybe your business uh, plan is a little long. Mm. That's what I think. Okay, you give your suggestion. Yeah. And second, uh, I think it's your maybe you know 
it's harder to promote because you will maybe take away all the gym business. So that's you think about the, who is your really competitor. Mm -hmm. And how long you have this idea? Uh, I've had this idea for a good while. I've been po slowly polishing it and doing some more research. But I've had it since, I guess, the middle of last year. Oh, nice. But I think this is a very good project. I have a lot of past experience, a lot of like 12 years old, 15 years old. They have so many projects that later on they come to be choose. Mm. So I would say this is a very good idea and a very good project. Thank you. Very good Thank presentation too. Yeah. Thank you. All right, just some comments. Very good presentation, agree with the previous judges. Thank you. Uh, in terms of market competition, when you talk about the streams, a unique platform, unique uh, product, etc., you know that we have a big name over there, Fitbit. Mm -hmm. Fitbit was recently purchased by Google, I think it cost like $10 billion or something. Yes. So they have these uh, wearable products, so very strong with the online community and everything. Mm -hmm. So have you thought about how to compete with them? So um, I've considered competing with Fitbit, and I've come to a conclusion that we are in direct com com sort of competition. However, we do have a very big advantage over them, is that we have successfully integrated ourselves into the gyms they go to. When you're wearing a Fitbit and you go to a gym, you're integrating yourself into the gym. But if we are already integrated into that gym that you go to, there is no competition. We are already there. You are free to charge your phone with our technology. But once you start using our technology, you start to realize how much more convenient it is for you as you go to your gym and we are already there. And you'll start thinking about paying for our subscriptions as Fitbit currently do not offer the same level of training and expertise that we offer through our subscription services. So I, I believe that despite Fitbit is an already developed company and they're very successful and they have wearable technology, which we do not, um, we will not be threatened by their um, sort, of, sort of their market business proposal. Um, and instead, we will outcompete them for our sector of the market. Very good. Just like uh, something you may want to emphasize regarding, you talk about uh, fitting the club and others. So the question would be, if everybody already has that feedback, right? And uh, would they buy another one? And that would be the question. In addition to that would be, the chargeable equipment to sell to the fitness club. I didn't see very much. Actually, I see that's a unique part, different from Fitbit. Because yeah. everything else is already done by Fitbit. Mm -hmm. So the big competitor over there, if you just keep emphasizing that it's the only product on in a unique platform, no, it's not. It's just uh, whether you can put that uh, gadget or equipment in all these uh, club facilities, so yeah. they get a charge and other. That one may be worth some exploration. You can see that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would say a business opportunity in the future. Yes. And agree with that. Uh, if you have waited eight years, uh, they may have other products already. Do it fast. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. All right. Thank you. By the way, this is a very good magician, right? You have your bone, right? I remember you, right? Uh, you played the. Uh, Violin? Oh, I play the clarinet. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then yes, uh, last year our party, our gala, you did a show, right? Yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. And I got heard from your presentation that means you have a very uh, happiness and a very good goal in your life, right? And a very house. Uh, I try to keep my that? professional life away from my personal life. Yeah. Um, but, um. You know, this I feel is pretty important too. So if this you would like to what? consider investing in this, yeah, I'm the guy to talk to you guys. No, no, no. Uh, he, he is from the Goldman Sachs. I'm going to do an investment bank around 30 years. Mm -hmm. So first we do investment, we're not all based on what idea you have. We're based on who's the leader. Is the leader powerful? Is the leader confident? Is the leader happy? Is the leader want to be motivated? That's important. All right. So you should say, yes, I'm happy, I'm healthy. You cannot say, I just care about my idea. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next up we have Stephen Peck.